A Los Angeles Rams coach is talking to ABC after he recently helped save a drowning child. The coach is crediting his quick thinking to the training he received after Buffalo Bills player Damar Hamlin's on-field collapse. Raheem Morris was reunited with the three-year-old he helped save. Give him a hug. <laughs> An emotional reunion between L.A. Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris and Wyatt Stanley after the three-year-old nearly died in his arms on Memorial Day. His family was poolside at the Encore Hotel in Las Vegas when Wyatt's father Joe says his seven-year-old son ran over and told him Wyatt was underwater. There was no heartbeat. There was no pulse. When I picked him up, he was laying, he was actually face down his nose at the bottom of the pool. Dr. Andrew Oleksin, an emergency room physician, and Raheem Morris jumped in to help. They heard screaming. And I could just feel um, the panic of it all when you feel like you're alone. And I just looked at her in the face and asked her, where's the AED machine? ABC's Matt Gutman sat down with Coach Morris. He says he just received training in working the AED machine in the wake of Damar Hamlin's on-field collapse. Dr. Oleksin performed CPR. I can hear him in the same tone say when he got the pulse and shortly after then is when water spit out the kid's mouth mm. still not responding. Wyatt's pulse returned and he was rushed to the hospital where Dr. Andrew visited him. I was got emotional at that point because it's like not only did you save the, the Wyatt but you saved his family. We are truly so happy that Raheem was there and Dr. Andrew was there and truly again miracle God placed them all directly where they needed to be. Just an incredible story. Most public buildings like our office are equipped with AED machines, a helpful tool placed over the heart in emergency situations. Health experts say it's important to familiarize yourself with them because as you can see with that story, it could be life saving. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.